when we began the development on a Volkswagen MK7 radiator, we knew we wanted to test more than one design. We decided to engineer two different cores to make sure that we were developing the best possible radiator for this vehicle. So, once we finished designing and engineering our single pass core, we decided to fabricate a triple pass core as well. We're going to take our standard single pass, which just means that coolant enters in this side, fills up this end tank, it sweeps across, fills up this end tank, comes out on your outlet, right? What we're going to do is we're going to make it a triple pass, which means I'm going to put a diverter inside of this end tank on both sides, but they're going to be staggered. And what that'll do is your hot coolant will come in, fill up the tank, it'll hit this diverter plate that I put inside of here. Your hot coolant will come across, it'll go down, it'll hit this next diverter plate that I put in, it'll go back across again, down, and then across and out the outlet. Triple pass. That was a great explanation. Once both of our radiators were completed, it was time for testing. We bolted our Dynapacks up to an MK7 Golf R for our tests. What we're doing is we're testing a single pass and a triple pass rad in this vehicle. We have both pressure and temperature sensors on this. What we're trying to do is make sure that the rad that we're developing for this product is going to be the best rad possible for this application. We tested a stock core, a single pass core, and a triple pass core on this Golf R. We utilize the same testing procedures for all three to ensure that we get the most accurate data possible. The test we're doing is a continuous load test. Basically what we're doing is we're telling the computer on the Dynapax to hold the vehicle at a specific RPM while we go to full throttle. What this does is it basically loads the car up as much as we possibly can in a safe environment and it generates a lot of heat. What that heat is going to do is going to show us how well we can extract heat out of the cooling system using our racks. Once all three radiators were thoroughly tested, we actually found that the Mishimoto single pass core performed the best. The new design increased the core volume by 56% and external fin surface area by 76%. Overall, this resulted in the new radiator dropping global coolant temperatures by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. 